Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and today you're going to be taking a look at the second stage performance for Luna at Queendom Season 2. They are doing the song Shake It from either Hirin or Thista, one of the two. So because Hirin won the first, uh, the first stage, she got to choose who she was going to be covering. She had the full remit of all the groups. She chose Luna. So Aduna, I think she's chosen So What? Uh, and from the preview, it looks like she's dressed as Catwoman. So, God knows what she's going to do with that. Uh, as I said, they're doing Shake It. I do not know much. If I don't know anything, let's be honest. I don't know anything about hearing our sister's back catalogue. Uh, although some, some fans seem to think I should know everything about every single group there is. This isn't my job, kids. This is a hobby. A fun hobby. So, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what Luna do. Their first stage was spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. This is their first stage with the crowd. They didn't before. Well, they had a crowd, but it wasn't on the same day as all the other groups. They did it separately. You all know this. Let's get into this. Stop yapping, Chris. Back at this stage. Yeah, one of you guys pointed out that they... They were on the new stage and not the old stage. Chin Chin. What is this setting? They all at a bar. Mate, you've got... Didn't have glasses. These feel like they're male idols. They look male idol. They're probably dancers. Oh. Oh. I'd stay away, don't worry. I'm liking the jazziness. Ah, oh, funky jazzy. Liking it. <laughs> Ooh, Hijin. She dyed her hair. Looks darker. Effortless. So we've got the cool girls and the nerds. There's definitely going to be a change up in there at the end. Transformation. <laughs> Cute. Oh my, he's in dear. It's fun. It's, it feels like this is what you'd see at a musical. So tiny. <laughs> there we go. I wonder if they all ran off stage and got the hair quickly redone. Like Olivia did in the first one. Digging the fun sound to this. It's definitely like early Luna. Like high high cute. Are we going to get a dance break here, or is it more of a, a, an acting scene? Adorable. Like, I dig in the, like, 
funky swing sound to it. Yeah, that's a funky, fun, 50s, 60s swing vibe. Nice. Nice little growl. Go on. Go on, crowd. You know you want to stand up. A whole other level here, isn't she? Wow. You know it, dear. I know it. Kyot. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know the original song at all, so I don't know how much they've changed it up. If it's anything like the previous stage I watched for Cosmic Girl, I think it's going to be like either a full 180 or complete different but I just I love that swing funky fun sound that they have going on like it's not it's not the the main Luna sound you hear from their like main tracks but it gives me that kind of fun cute bouncy vibe that you saw in like the high high video where they were all like super fun and bubbly and new whereas now they're just sort of badass girls just wanting to like kick your face in and be like yeah but I'm cute so you let me off and we will but I like it a lot of fun as before with their first stage it feels like either they've got people working with them that understand the layout and scenario and story of the song that they want to tell and it just feels like I don't know I, there's just something about Luna I think that just feels like they, they completely understand and get this show 100% the costume change like you could, you could telegraph, you could see that coming, but the way that they did that was super fun, cute. Um, the little stage in the middle where it's the other groups have gone for like dance breaks and things, they went for more of a little skit scene. It's just something really fun, like this looks like something you'd see on a musical stage. Like one of those old school musicals, that you know, like a Grease type thing, where you get the acting, you get some acting scenes and then you go to the dance number. That's what this feels like, it feels... Just like fun, fun, innocent, niceness. I love it. I like it. You cannot go wrong with Luna on stage. You just can't. You just can't. They're just too good. Too good. I love it. As I, like I said, I don't know the original. If, if you guys want to tell me how the original is, if it's styled different, I think Sistar is supposed to be that the sort of mature, sexy girl group that um, Hearing was in. So... I imagine the original probably might have looked a little bit different to this, so I kind of like that Luna have taken it into this sort of toned down, more of a fun vibe, but I love it. I'll probably go back and listen to this if they put it on Spotify, and I'll probably come back and watch this stage a few more times to get the numbers up, because that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Cannot wait to see what they do next. I can't even remember what the third stage is. I don't know if it's a fan fandom pick or something like that. Not entirely sure, but... This was great. This was a lot of fun. And it goes to show previously from their last stage to this stage. Hopefully it's showing the general public like, look, this is what the girls can do. They can do anything you want to throw at them. Whether it's their song twisted up and changed into a, like a dance, a traditional musical with dance elements. Or this fun bouncy pop. Put it in front of the Luna. They will do it. They will knock it out of the park. So I'm hoping this is doing them good back home. So thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts below on this, on the staging, on the choreography. I loved it all. I loved it all. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Do all that stuff with the algorithms. Check the links in the descriptions. And ways to follow me, support the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.